Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number 22, presumably the last one. We're gonna go into port. It turns out that people are correct. There is something on my boat which is still damaged. My dive planes. It's a little bit weird the way it happens. Um, I don't fully understand what's happening. Um, by the way, there's almost nothing out. There's one patrol, but I mean, we actually wanna speed on over to Guam. I'm gonna try to repair the dive planes. I actually uh, had a bug in the game where Hopefully it doesn't happen again where, okay, upon your return to port, you're immediately called into the Admiral's office where he congratulates you on your superior leadership and tactics. Hooray! So I did this, I went to damage control, and you do have to double click on this. Okay, here we go. 34. Hope we have enough time. It's happening. Oh, Allied Forces demonstrating general progress. The U.S. Navy's superiority. Okay, so U.S. Marines are making substantial headway in the Spratleys after securing and expanding several beachheads and coastal areas as key airfields have been secured. The USAF has been able to airlift substantial reinforcements into the country. Allied forces are now said to be in control of roughly half the country. Okay, good. And there's still repairs which are needed? So I don't know what happened there, but I just want to get out. <laughs> I don't even know. We have enough. Let's just cast off anchors away. <clears throat> and is... The big question is... Let me brief. Go to damage control. Okay, everything's fine now. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Let's review our orders. Um, before it reaches the open sea... Queen Dao. So it's going to leave Queen Dao, which is up there. Okay, good. Let's just go north. I don't... Oh my gosh! Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> they really don't want you to fail this mission. <laughs> so let's let's equip something which is appropriate. We're going to be going in there blazing speeds. Hopefully that's... Well, I I'm, I'm think that things are just going to get bad for us very quickly. And that'll be very exciting. 071, all hands man battle stations and immediately rig for silent running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. The only good news is that we have a lot of depth under kill. It's extremely silent. Yeah, we've already been detected, I'm sure. I'm expecting active 071. Con, sonar, new contact okay, pairing. Let's get one, on. three, seven, designated Sierra, one. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Okay. Zero, eight, zero, designated Sierra, two. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, oh God, one, one, nine, designated Sierra, three. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, Where one, are you? six, eight, designated Sierra, four. Are they the merchant sonar, in this? Sierra, two, oh, okay. Is Come left to Snapshot. zero, four, three, helm, I. <clears throat> Con sonar new contact bearing. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra one. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra three. Con Have you identified? Sonar, launch transient from. Well, we knew this might happen. Three, five knots, maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing one. It's okay. Let's come down. Snapshot it at an angle where they are not coming from. Should have launched a moss. Sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing two, six, six. Passing at eleven hundred feet. It's okay. I'm okay with one. Passing twelve. Handle that. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing one four seven passing <clears throat> feet. Let's get two another moss loaded perhaps. Okay. 
Okay, how do we want to do this? <clears throat> well, there's another one coming pretty close. That one's high, so we want to turn hopefully towards that. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, five, two. That has a lot of torpedoes in the water. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. We're gonna wait for that one to get around. It's nearly there, and then we can make our maneuver to the surface. <clears throat> Scared the crap out of me. Sonar lost con passing 1,000 feet. Con torpedo room passing 900 feet. So one has acquired, but does not know where we are. Passing 700 feet. Oh god, I dive, need to dive, need to dive, need to dive. And that's why. Passing 700 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. Alright, well this is exciting. Cons. Passing 1,000 feet. Sir Forrest cavitating. Passing 1,100 feet. We probably... You know, we're not really going to get that much noise. Oh, you feet. know what? We might actually be getting something. Passing 1,300 no. feet. Passing 1,400 feet. Passing 1,500 feet. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come left to one eight six helm I. Make depth one zero 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 feet die by. See us cavitating. Okay, let's identify these other ones that we're gonna start. So Make emergency zero not maneuvering eye. So okay. Con sonar noise make. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Now, um, I know it's a mess. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Dude, this guy just got in the water. Come right to two, four, zero, helm I. Make turns for one. No, zero, nine. um, you know, my nemesis is not Con here. Sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing zero, seven, eight. Sonar lost con con sonar. We can torpedo in the water. Dive underneath torpedo it. in the water. Bearing one zero. Oh, seven. nice. That one's behind me. Con oh my sonar. Gosh, lost it's contact. just diving from like zero three. Last passing thirteen hundred feet. This one is acquiring, but is not going to be able to get passing us. Passing fourteen hundred feet. On this trip. Passing fifteen hundred feet. You know what? Con we haven't visited the bottom feet. for a while. <laughs> Not true at all. We were very recently acquainted, reacquainted with the bottom. Oh, it it acquired theirs. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing. Con sonar torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Nope. Bearing two, two, oh my gosh, nine. there's just too many things. I don't know what's acquiring us, so I'm just gonna give us a second to escape. How we doing? Bearing one. It's the big picture. Eight. I don't know. Okay, let's get ready. I'm supposed Passing to. There it is. There's the decoy. Feet. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one. Passing fifteen hundred feet. Passing fourteen hundred feet. This Come way. right to one six. Six helm I. Con torpedo room two passing twelve hundred feet. Passing eleven hundred feet. Okay. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's try this. 
Passing 900 feet. Sierra 3, what are you? Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering on. Passing yep, there's the Yasin. Well, Mr. Yasin. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing zero, zero, six. Make turns for three, five knots, maneuvering eye. Con, Four. sonar, regained contact on Sierra five, bearing one, three, one. Now we can't really go down. Con, sonar, lost contact, Sierra five, last bearing one. Three, zero, contact base. Passing 900 feet. Yikes. Con sonar, noise may passing 1,000 feet. That's okay. I'm okay with one of them. Passing 1,100 feet. Come right to one, four, seven, two. Okay, Yasin has something to deal with. Good positive ID on that. Passing 1,300 feet. Everyone else is just reloading and dropping on me. Passing 1,400 feet. We pulled, Passing picked up another torpedo as well. Feet. Passing 1,600 feet. Your knuckle. knuckle formed. Quickly. Up. Oh god, is this thing. Is it acquiring me? Oh my god! <laughs> god Let's drop another more. decoy to leave it confused, I think. Well, have something else to keep busy there. Let's come towards the Austin. No, actually, we don't want to do that. Because the Austin has. should have company. Did the Yasin already take a hit? Oh my gosh, it did! It did an emergency blow. Okay, hit the surface. Back emergency. Prepare to acquire. Okay, come on, back emergency. Let's go. Just go. Come right to no, 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 two. No, no, no. You're just going right to the surface. There you go. What are we doing, though? Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one, three, three. Let's level off. If we have the time, I mean, this is pretty cool. Yasin being at the surface. But I want to actually guide this one in. If I can do this without getting myself killed. Let's hit it right where we hit it before. That's just going to make everything a little bit better. Uh-huh. No noisemaker for you, buddy. Okay. We're going to have some problems in a second. We have approximate depth of that one. It's going to be right at me. Okay, let's quickly identify something else. Um, this is not a Yasin. This is an Akula. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2. Which I do have a torpedo zero, over six, there. One. And we have one Sierra 4 behind me. Let's Make pick, turns start going this way. Not. Make turns for three, five, not. Okay, Maneuvering let's on. do this. We have a Sierra 2, which is a merchant. Sierra 6 is unknown. Let's try to identify real fast. Con sonar, noise maker, and it's a merchant. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Con merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 6 is classified as merchant. Let's not hit the bottom again this time, but we should be okay. I think we're going to be underneath this one. It's gone active. Okay, yeah, that Akula is close. Reload torpedoes. Passing Let's slow way down. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering on. Okay. Make turns for five knots. 
maneuvering eye. Okay. Con sonar, noise maker bearing. That's my one, moss three, going out. One. Passing 1600 feet. Let's get Sierra 4 now. Con maneuvering. Passing 1600 feet. Can you come up? To 800, we'll launch another Moss. Make depth seven we have here. Zero feet, die by. Looks like another Akula. Con sonar, Sierra 4 is classified as submerged submarine. Could be off. I think it's right. No Sierras? A little disappointing. Would have loved to have taken out a Sierra while we're at it. Look at it, if you're dealing with the Yasin already, I <laughs> might as well throw in a, a, a Sierra. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, three, five. Okay. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, release from ultra quiet. Because I do want to load this torpedo. We can get better information on the Sukula, which is probably not going to happen the way we're doing things right now. Come left to zero nine two helm I. Oh, it's. I think it's got it. Con torpedo room two two recon sonar noise maker bearing one three nine. Oh, oh, come on! I don't. I don't have control of this one. <laughs> All right, let's get this one identified. Oh, so close. We may run out of juice. Okay, once we get up to around 800, we'll launch another Moss. We got the Aston down, we just have two Akulas to go. Yeah, that torpedo's gonna have to run around in circles quite a lot before it gets back to that Akula. Uh, I like this because it should be masking even uh, bearing noise. The cooler, they're gonna look and be like, ah, oh, that's a moss, but they can't hear me behind it. That's my idea. Of course, active is gonna <laughs> somewhat defeat that, but. Alright, a cooler, where? So this guy actually can hear me with active, can register me on active, but otherwise has a hard time. Having the Yasa nearby is a, is a nice benefit. You can use it as a, a decoy if necessary. You know what? Maybe this is going to get the Akula. It's really doing its best. Yeah, we're being pinged directly, so we know that. Sonar, noise maker bearing one, four, eight. Yeah, you know what? This guy might. Going around. So if you leave a twisted maze of these, you have a good chance of success. <laughs> I'm just waiting to launch. I don't think it matters. I think we will put another torpedo in the water. Depth towards the surface. We're actually there used to be a layer here. I don't know what happened. Gun, fire control, oh crap. Wire. Oh, because our rudder? Probably. Well, that's going to make things exciting for them. Launch another Moss. Con sonar, noise maker bearing one, four, seven. Towards the Zia. Shoot two, three. Hi, sir. Let's come back Helm this right way. Two, two, five, zero. Helm I. Yeah, it's done running. But if we're lucky, this Akula is. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 4. Last yeah, that's because right we lost two, in the toad, two, but seven, we're active. Eight, helm Got I. it. <laughs> this poor Akula. <laughs> Just not having a time. Not having a very good time. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing. 1, 4. Now the Zia is dead. I think one torpedo should do it. Maybe we'll launch another one just to be extra, extra sure. The funny thing is our Moss is getting close to the position of the Akula. We still don't have very much confidence, 30% solution. We only know bar basic bearing information. I'm too bad this one is not on the wire. 
She may finally find her way to the target after all this, though. It's a cool, uh, just don't think it's gonna be... Oh, that noisemaker did save it. I was thinking about this a little bit. I know that going fast is gonna be very helpful in a lot of situations, but I wonder if there's any merit to going slow sometimes. In this game, at least. What? I, imagine this, you launch a decoy, you know that they don't do pass-through. Torpedoes in this have like a very strict... Okay, we got them this time. Um, torpedoes have a very strict like loop around. They don't go through the deco decoy. They go... Oh, he's going to get... Oh my gosh. This guy's already taken a hit. One, four, three. He did take a hit. That was a hit. Oh my. Well, no wonder he's going a little bit slower. And if you're in the crew, you can probably hear this torpedo. <laughs> Gosh, just circling you. Certain death is circling you. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. As soon as this Akula is dealt with, I think we'll go active. Because this they're going active, they know exactly where we are. That should isolate things a little bit. We have not we have not yet used, not once in this campaign, active as a means of identifying where somebody is. <clears throat> It'll also mean I can go nose on. Oh my gosh. It's it acquired my moss. Good lord. Right two, three, three, five, okay, straighten five, out. Five. Let's get one more on this guy. We don't actually know what it's gonna do. That moss is at my Depth, so let's come. Yeah, let's go down to 1200. Oh, stop! Don't move at all. I want this one on. Hooray! What will it do after that is kind of an interesting thing. I'm gonna manually turn my rudder so we don't go too hard. It could acquire this Akula. Could bounce off to the next moss. I mean, that was a pretty large range of requirement. Oh, no, it's not. We're. You know what? This is a very tight fight. I didn't realize. Moss. That's the one we just fired. Con, okay. torpedo room, tube four ready. We'll take this one up to the surface. Take this uh, Yasin out. Or, no, the Kula's actually our level. Okay, so it's like perfect. The uh, other Kula is higher. Good to know. Yeah, it's just going to circle after this thing. Maybe it'll acquire the Zia after all. I was thinking about double tapping just because, for fun, really. 110 on these things. Yasin. Well, I guess we can look directly. How do I look <laughs> directly? How do I change? There it is. I'm blind. There's the yes. 105. So, very, very slightly. But, you know, the Sierra is noisier, so the Akulas are better. Didn't realize that. Okay, time to go active with this thing. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. We'll go ahead and use our active, even though it's extremely quiet. No reason at all. I just want to make them very nervous. got this Akula. Well, let's launch a spread at this one. Come left two, two, four, five. Helm I. Actually, her confidence with active is not that high anymore. So Step right below that. Right her hard five. right. Helm I. Throw it right. I'm actually... It's quite possible this is going to pick up the Akula. And what do you know? There she goes. I don't know 
why she wandered into this thing. Okay, let's get nose on with her. Okay, no, stop. No, sorry. Got one torpedo out there without breaking the wire. Okay, now come left slowly. And make our depth. You know, 750 is actually fine. But this one might get the job done. Nope, these might be a two-hit kill anyway. Oh, that one went just... I cannot believe this torpedo in the end is going to find a target. She's in a bad way, and we have another one coming at her. It's going to make matters even worse. Yeah, so she has very little idea about what our position now. Active is almost... Signal noise ratio is 1 to 1, so you might be able to see something consistent if you're looking for long enough, but it's not going to be easy. What's her speed coming down to? Still at 33 knots. Okay, so she hasn't lost much in the way of speed. Well, it's going to be a submarine graveyard here. Unfortunately, this area, not exactly the shallowest. I don't think you're going to find much out here looking for it. I mean, they did find some of the midway carriers, but this is really deep water. All right. Well, that was fun. It's a fun last mission. I love it. I think it's well, well designed to give you an entertaining time. like a game of chicken, but you're playing it with a torpedo. Okay, let's Con, go active. Fire control, weapon acquired. Let them know. <laughs> right into the dome. Last bearing one seven three. Contact breaking up. Okay, well that's Come pretty left, convincing. Two, what I think we'll do is one, instead of Elm, I... well, how deep is this sea at? It's at well beyond this dive depth. Okay, so we probably would have heard implosions and stuff. And the cool thing about the dangerous water stuff instead of cold waters is they do model the explosions disrupting your sonar vision for quite a while. I'm not even sure why explosions reverberate for so long underwater. Um, they are even underwater. Oh, we were talking about maybe like water getting into the batteries, batteries popping off, little minor implosions and stuff, all those noises disrupting your ability to hear. But, but a really successful mission, and I would say a moderately, I'm not going to be as bold as to say that was a very successful campaign because we made a lot of mistakes. We were playing on elite difficulty and we survived so I didn't actually ever feel like we were going to die except for the coastal launch missions. Those are the only ones. Even when I'm in shallow water not launching T-Lambs I feel okay but the those are just death. So yeah I guess that's it. We'll go I guess we'll call this one Helm to a close. Two, we'll two, switch zero, to active. Helm, we have I. anything out there worth Examining. This thing can go 33 knots? What the hell? What merchant freighter can go 33 knots? Is that real? Such a does such a vessel exist? I mean, speed is money, time is money, because of speed is money, but that does not fit with my knowledge of version ships. I would guess 22 zero, three, seems L reasonable. I. Pretty quick, even. Good. 33 seems insane. This is faster than military vessels. Okay. Well, whatever you say, game. All right. Well, let's bring this one to a close. We've done it. Two Akulas, a Yasin, and a Zia. Excellent job on intercepting and destroying this high-priority target. Stand by for further orders. 
but there won't be any. The immediate threat of nuclear war looks to have faded as the U.S. triumphantly announced that the Chinese nuclear deterrent has been neutralized by precision missile strikes. So yeah, I guess you can call torpedoes underwater missiles. Deprived of their strategic leverage, the Chinese had no choice but to acquiesce to U.S. terms during the peace talks, a direct result of their weak position in the Western Pacific. The war's outcome has triggered a massive economic collapse and a move towards isolationism. So this is interesting. Nuclear deterrent neutralized by precision missile strikes. Maybe they did some missile strikes on the mainland as well, but I don't know. Um, political analysts predict that the U.S. victory could lead to a strengthening of the American-led security order in the Pacific as Beijing once again looks inward, reaffirming the United States of America as the dominant power in the region for decades to come. So I, I, uh, I'm not completely familiar with the situation in China, the government and the people and all that, but there is this idea, and even like some of this protesting in Hong Kong people use as evidence that the reason why a Chinese government can be, uh, any government, not just a general statement, any government can be, um, can kind of mess up or can kind of have authoritarian, too much power, totalitarian types regimes even, they're okay when people's lives are steadily improving. And that means that even going from getting to something very bad from something absolutely terrible, if that's a big improvement, people are okay with the government. They, did, they like to see that positive change. So well, um, when I talk about this with some people, we kind of discuss China and all that, and it, it seems like the reason why China is going to have a hard time in the near future is because um, quality of life might stop increase, increasing by as much as it has been. They might start reaching some kind of plateau. And then the people start having time on their hands to wonder if things are going as well as they should be. And that's when you can get political unrest. Okay, but that's it. We're pulling back into Guam, I take it. 62 days at war. That's a pretty long war. Um, two months. You can look at the Iran crisis stuff, and if all that boiled over... Well, I don't know. 62 days, that's... Uh, you can look at the Afghanistan. That's been going on for a really long time. Yeah, this is a quick resolution to war. I take it back. <laughs> Upon returning home, you are hailed as a war hero, receiving requests for interviews and numerous other public appearances. Negotiations between China and the Allies have been steady, have made steady progress, and at last there is hope for substantial, sustainable peace in the South China Sea region. You marry your high school sweetheart, and blah blah blah. I tried to write the rest of the story, but uh, I don't have that creative ability in me, not at the moment. One capital ship sunk. That's the the Kiev. My, I like I said the first time. I think I've sunk one of those. Would love to have sunk a Kirov, but. The opportunity did not present itself, and it kind of doesn't make sense for there to be a Kirov. Um, China will, I mean, does have some aircraft carriers that we would be able to sink, but not back in 2000. And I doubt that they would buy a Kirov. So 46 other warships sunk, 36 submarines, 22 merchants. <laughs> All those amounted to a total of 460,000 tons. 150,000 tons of submarines seems just kind of unbelievable, incredible. Uh, the other ones, I feel like it could happen, but sinking that many other submarines is insane. And that's going to conclude the game. So that's going to conclude our series at least, but you all know what's going to happen. I'll probably be streaming even this weekend. I'm recording this Saturday, but I'll probably be streaming um, some... Dangerous Waters this weekend, just to give you a glimpse of that game. Ooh, that's in a really nice explosion. Is that how they look? I don't know. And... Um... Yeah! So, that Dangerous Water stuff is on the near future. I need to spend a little bit more time learning it. I'm assuming everyone wants to see a submarine playthrough, which is what I'm planning for. But my first stream and everything else, I'm actually really good in the helicopter. I have a lot of fun in the um, Black Hawk, the 60. Going around, using my dipping sonar to annoy, and I only get three... Ooh, look at that. The carrier was tipping over. I only get three torpedoes, but you can go back to the Oliver Hazard Perry and rearm. So, well, that's that seems like an absolute mess. <laughs> Bunch of mines. 
So, um, thanks for watching this one. For people, I mean, I, I do have a pretty clear series lined up for after this, but for those of you, if this is your, if you're making it to the end of my series for the first time, I do take the comments on the last video pretty seriously. I try to give them a lot of weight, or at least maybe slightly more weight than usual. Any recommendations for further series? This is like the best time to do it, because I am, even though I am gearing up towards dangerous waters, um, this is the time when I evaluate what what should replace cold waters on my channel. So that's why it's a good time to be leaving those comments. Anyways, thanks to Killer Fish for making a nice, enjoyable game, Cold Waters. And uh, thanks to you all for watching. I'll catch you back for the next series, probably for the Dangerous Waters stuff. So until then, take care.